Lincoln Falcon. Hey guys, I'm Phil LeBlanc, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission, and we're going down to Kraid's Hideout. Kraid's Hideout. And, uh, Kraid's Hideout had the, the best music in Metroid 1, in my opinion, and I really think Zero Mission does a great job of it. Sounds fantastic. Save point over here, won't bother, let's get over here. So, I really like that. Um, oh, oh, no, that's not good. So in the original Metroid, Kraid's Hideout really doesn't have a lot going for it. It's, it's a quick in and out. I mean... If you guys remember, we did the entirety of, of Kraid in a single episode. Uh, I don't think it'll go that fast this time. Maybe it will. Who knows? But in this one, uh, unless you're unless you're sequence breaking, you're kind of forced to explore a little bit more, which is for the better, to be honest. Let's keep going. And this whole section in the original uh, original game is this long, kind of weird circular area uh, that has nothing. It literally has nothing. Can I get up there? No. Uh, in this one, you are you do need to go up here. And there we go. You can see some Chozo markings right here. And it, at first it looks like kind of like a man with the head and the arms and legs kind of just standing there. But it's actually about this here. You go in here in your morph ball, plant a bomb. And up you go. Boom. Go down, hold left. Get that. And then we get to do it all over again. Hooray. So much fun. And as you can see, we broke through one of those arrow icons, so maybe high speed is what we need for those arrow icons, so uh, keep that in mind for later. Whee! There we go. Grab, oh, grab on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we are. Ignore those doors for now, just go in here. This whole area can be skipped, uh, dang it, whoa, no, no, if you are sequence breaking, I'm pretty sure, um, I used to speedrun this game a lot when I was younger, uh, it was the first game I actually ever speedrun before, like, I actually taped it and stuff, what the hell is this, oh, skip it, um, before I taped them and stuff, it was just for fun, and, uh, this was one that I speedrun a lot, like, on the, on the, the subway ride to, to, to school and all that, when I was in college, very cool. Uh, my best time was uh, 31 minutes and 5 seconds. At the time, the world record was 29 minutes and 30 seconds, I think. So pretty good. I got pretty decent at it. And I, I, I don't remember if you had to go here or if you... No, I think you had to go here. Oh, whatever. So, big mystery as to what those things are. We'll be able to see very soon. Now we're in here. Am I even going the right way? I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. Okay, I probably had to just go up then, instead of uh, to the right here. Careful of the... Oh, I was gonna say lava, but it's more like acid, I bet. And yeah, I guess we, we can go in here. Ah, oh, dang. There we go. There we are. Oh, there we go, finally. What is this? And this activates all those kind of uh, things we've been seeing. Hitting them calls over this thing, and then hitting it, or uh, grabbing onto it, allows you to do that. So it's pretty nifty. Now we can save if we want to, might as well. So this whole section, again, like, was kind of in... I'm gonna pause it and you can see the map. Like, that that whole section was in the original Metroid, but it had no reason, it had no point. So, whatever. Oh, okay, that's what that was. Alright. So back here, and I guess we can use this to just cross now, so that's pretty nice. Oh, careful. And, yeah. Oh, jeez, what the hell? Alright, so be careful this guy. We'll do that. Hit him with some missiles. We have so many missiles, so... Don't bother wasting your regular shots or charge shots. Just missile it up. That's pretty easy. Obviously not in the original Metroid. And... Oh, jeez. Okay. Thought he was going to do something else. There we go. When he roars like that, he's going to lift up the uh, acid. Just go up here. Careful. And we prepare to move. There we go. Pretty easy boss, to be honest. If you're too high when he jumps up, he'll just... He won't smack into the wall. 
Yeah, fun little mini boss. We haven't actually fought a full boss yet. I don't think. No, no, we haven't. And there we go. And the acid goes down. Hooray. Nice. Go down here and get some more items. Oh, cow. No, no. The acid doesn't uh, stop or doesn't uh, drain you that much yet. Uh, later on, you'll get some, like, it, back in Norfair, that room that was, like, super hot. The acid and lava in that room, holy crap, it drains you like crazy. Ow, ow, ow. There's nothing over here? Alright then. And with that, now that that's activated, we can access more that we couldn't before if we had gone another way. But because we went this way, we won't... Well, I'll... You know, you'll see it, obviously. Hit this. Yeah. Riding in style. And go all the way back down. Cool. Cool stuff. So I do like how this game did use up a lot of wasted space from the original Metroid. Very cool. Oh, I should probably fill up some of my missiles. I did start out with like 70 for that boss fight and I ended up using a lot. I do like how you use missiles a lot more in this game too. There we go. Careful here. Alright. Alright, let's continue on down. And let's go to the right, I guess. It's been a long time since I've actually played this game normally. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. We wouldn't have been able to do this before, so yay. Ah, hello. And we can't even get this. Oh, no. We need the speed. And we don't have, like, a, a speedy thing around here, so that kind of sucks. So I guess we'll just go back. And these will break, by the way. <laughs> we will definitely come back and get that later. All right, is this the area? Yeah, this is the area. All right, so if you try to go here first... Uh, come on, hurry up. There we go. So this won't be activated, and you'll just see this kind of area over here. And uh, it is possible to get through, and now when speedrunning the game, this is, my, in my opinion, the hardest part of the game. Is you do this, and then... I'm probably gonna fail. Uh, no, yeah, oh yeah, badly, I might add. There we go. Oh, damn. So you have to get out of Morph Ball and grab on. Like that. And then here... Oh, I don't even remember how to do this. Okay, yeah. I don't remember how to do that. You either have to, like, use a bomb in a good way or something. I don't know. But very cool. So, uh, there we go. Just shoot those out of the way. Or curl into a ball and go that way. It doesn't matter. But yeah, that was, that was the hardest part of the speedrun for me, anyways. Because that's a lot of time lost if you screw that up. What's up here? What's up here? Oh, jeez, hello. Ah, you're huge. Missile, 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 missile. Oh, jeez, ah, hello. Holy crap. I like how the bigger enemies give you a lot, uh, a lot of drops, though. And you do have to kill these guys, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There we go, easy enough. So that's why he used a lot of missiles. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, just, just a missile tank. Hey, so every missile counts, because that way we can use tons of them. And fall down here. And just like in the original, or just like in the original, yeah, fake, fake lava here. Whee! Well, that's quite the drop. And then here. Oh, nothing? Oh, I thought you would have been able to... I don't know. For some reason, I thought there was a, uh, one of those speedy ball things, but I guess not. Anything here? Nope. There's clearly something there, but let's go here first just to see what happens. We got some missiles up there, definitely gonna grab those. And full life, hooray! And up here, we can destroy these blocks. Boink. And this is the only way to explode them because of the um, turbo markings. I guess that's what I'll call them. Turbo markings. Bomb markings. There we are. And, whoops. Call over the, uh, lift or whatever. The, that thing. There we are. 
and just drop whenever you get the missiles. Boop! Nice. Love that. Very fun one. It's also to stop you from just like bombing up there because everything is about to, you know, everything falls apart when you step on it, so. And here we are. I think this is the bottom of the shaft. And you couldn't go this way because of that missile block that you can only destroy with missiles. So you couldn't go all the way around. Aw, oh, dang it. Uh, oh, well, I guess I can still do this. I don't know why I'm going back. This is going to send me back to the, the shaft that I was... So you start in. So the layout for this actually is very similar to the original, uh, original Metroid. I very much like that. I'm just like exploring. You know, I like exploring in this one. It's, it's, it's super fast to get anywhere. So I, I really don't feel like I'm wasting my time if I do this. Come on, give me some missiles. Oh, you guys suck. Oh, there's a speedy ball thing. This is what? A save? Oh, this is the map. Good. Hello. Thank you for the map. And we've pretty much explored most of it already, as you can see. So, and there's Kraid down there. And the uh, Chosen Statue told us to go where Kraid is. Uh, right after Kraid, so, you know, we'll do that, obviously. But I want to see what this, where this sends me. Whee! Love it. Love it so much. So much fun. And, ah, there's another missile. Nice. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh, careful. Alright, this one. Okay, this one's a little different, because you need to time... Oh, whoops. Ah, damn it. You need to time... When you uh, when you get that, there, just like that, then drop down, or else if you go too far, you won't get it. So hooray! Now we're back in the main shaft. Uh, and that's just up there again. What's over here? Oh right, something I can't get right now. Yep. Oh, does anything about that block look familiar? Reminds me of those, uh, the alien blocks I couldn't destroy, but then I had, I got a power-up and I was able to, so, who knows. Now, I destroyed that missile icon, will, will I be able to go back? Or does it, like, regenerate? So I'm not 100% sure if I'll be able to do this. Uh, oh good, okay. And can't go there because of the missile block, so. Now, in this area down here where it was very, uh, very obvious you could go down. Hello. There you go. It was a place that I actually kind of, uh, I, I skipped over in the original Metroid. It was a place like this where you could just bomb down and then you could just fight Kraid right there. Like, right away. This one, you can't do that. We continue going down. And over here is a save point. Might as well save. I mean, Kraid's coming up. We'll definitely beat Kraid before the end of this episode. So... While Kraid's hideout's not as small or, or as fast as it was in the original Metroid, it's still not very big or expansive or anything like that. Ow. Can't do anything with that. And if we go over here, you'll see that we can't do anything. But there's something, something that I want. It's another one of those, it looks like a space pirate instead of a Chozo. And it's an unknown item. But it's in the shape... Oh, it's miscellaneous. Ooh. It's in the shape of um, those those things right there, so that means I can blow them up now. Very cool. Very fun. So now we can go to even more places. Because now we can destroy them. Hooray. So we can get that. And we can go over here. Pretty much speeding through this area. I'm full life and full... Oh, not full life anymore. Full missiles. Oh, jeez. Guys, get away from me. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Never mind. I was like, going to take them all out, but I guess that didn't work. Another save room. Hooray. I think this is the last save room until Kraid. You can see Kraid on the map if you look down. One more thing. One more room. You can see Kraid's room. Here's another obvious area. I'm going to skip it for now. Keep going. Oh, okay. And that brings me back up there. So that's probably how you leave. So I'm not going to leave yet. It's time to take up Kraid instead. Whee! And if you're fast, you do that. <laughs> but you're meant to go down here. And there's nothing down here. Actually, what what are these? 
Well, they're turbo tiles, or turbo markings, whatever you want to call them. Careful the red ones, when you kill them, their eyes pop off, and they hurt you. Like that. Oh, good, I missed it. What's over here? Oh, jeez. Nothing good. Nothing good's here. If I can get up there. No, nope. okay. Well, I probably could, but I'm not that good at it, so. Ow. 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 See, that's what I'm talking about. The eyes do hurt you. Alright. Oh. Okay, so. Over here, ow, is the entrance to Kraid. And you got these, like, eyeball guys. And then they are, like, enemies. You uh, take them out with missiles. That one only takes one missile, but later on you get, like, harder ones. They shoot lasers. So, alright. So, remember Kraid from last time was this tiny guy. Super easy. So, don't worry about it. He'll be super small. Look at him. Oh, he's... Uh, oh, God. Uh... Okay, so that's a lot bigger. Hit, uh, okay, ah, uh, jeez. Alright, so, ever since Super Metroid, Kraid is huge. He starts out really easy just doing this. You don't want to use missiles the entire time. Hit him in that, his third eye, and then wail on him. Like that. You can actually see, and then that happens. And you, if you fall down here, you gotta get back up there. It can be kind of hard if you're doing a minimalist run. If you're uh, sequence breaking, you can actually... Oh, God, careful. You can uh, actually come here with a much stronger weapon and kill him with a couple seconds. It's hilarious. I'm pretty sure he destroys this platform that I'm on soon, too. Come on. Okay, he's, he's getting there. Oh, damn it. He's getting really close, though. Oh, there we go. Now he's destroyed that. Doesn't, doesn't give you a lot of room to play around him, but he's almost dead. And he'd be he'd win automatically if you just stopped using those weird kind of stomach missiles. There we go, he's dead. Not very hard. Not very hard under, under normal circumstances. But with him dead, one of the way or one of the entrances sides of the entrance to Torian has been lit up. And the other one is Ridley, obviously. Take that, you piece of shit. You're dead. All right, fill up a little bit. My life was fine there. Um, nothing at the top corner, I think. I like how the 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 map has like an X showing where Kraid once was, but now no longer is. Yeah, nothing up here. And as you can see, we can't leave here because of turbo markings. So the turbo turbo markings all everywhere. Oh, and there we go. So now we got the speed booster. The speed booster is new to well Metroid One. Um, it was first introduced in Super Metroid. You run until speed begins to blah 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 blah. In Super Metroid, you have to actually hold a button. There's an actual run button in Super Metroid, believe it or not. Uh, they, they took that out in every single Metroid. In other words, this, you just gotta run fast. Alright. Zoom! There we go. Keep going, keep going. Shoot, 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 shoot. Keep going. Yeah, that's how you do it. Very fun, very cool. Is there nothing down there? Oh, alright then. Pretty sure there was, but whatever. Yeah, pretty sure you can go down there. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly just run back and get some more speed. I just wanna see. Alright. Maybe because I stopped too soon, I don't know. Oh no, guess not. Alright, whatever, let's keep going then. So, you might as well just use the ice... Ice beam to do this. Ah, uh, damn. Well, I'm doing worse than I was in the first Metroid. Oh well. Wall jumps it is. Ah, uh, I can't even do that. There we go. Much easier just to do it this way. That was stupid. And where does this go? Okay. Might as well go here first, I guess. Is this the... Oh, yes. I know where this is. Okay. And get this here. 
Now, at the top room... Uh, the top room, there's a... Uh, you'll fall through that... It looks like a sand... Like a, like a sand waterfall. It's acid. Uh, but if you screw up, you'll fall through that. Way. And, uh... I'm gonna show you how to not fall there next time on Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. I'm filling the blanks. Take care, guys. See you next time. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out my other content on my YouTube channel, where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games.